Uh, the other day on uh, social media, uh, Bruce Campbell posted a very interesting, uh, I think it was a Twitter post. Uh, we'll get into that in a second, but it should come as no surprise, you guys. It should come as no surprise that uh, it's very, very possible, although not confirmed, it's most likely that Bruce Campbell will be popping up in Doctor Strange, uh, which is currently filming in London. Doctor Strange is currently filming in London. Uh, and, you know, n very notoriously, Bruce Campbell is known uh, for uh, having cameo appearances in almost every single one of Sam Ra director Sam Raimi's projects. So let's jump into the article here real quick. Um, this is the tweet that Bruce Campbell put out. He said, boy, it was a blast working in a certain city with a certain director on a certain movie with a certain actor. It sure was. I mean, I mean, the writing's on the wall here, you guys. The writing's on the wall. We all, like, we all know what he's talking about. Bruce Campbell cameos in basically every single Sam Raimi movie ever made. Not every single one, but the vast majority. And, uh, yeah, so we, uh, we know that Sam Raimi is the director of, uh, of Doctor Strange 2. We know that he's pairing up uh, once again with uh, composer Danny Elfman. Everything is is coming aligned here, you guys. With Bruce Campbell saying, "Boy, it was a blast working in a certain." I mean, like he's he's so obviously saying what he can't say. Um, I don't know. I, I just think this is a lot of fun. I think this is really cool. It's. I mean, is this shocking news? No, no. But it's fun. It's something that you know. It gives us something to talk about, something to discuss. Eric, um, I mean, does this come as shocking news to you? Are you not aware that Bruce Campbell's in every <laughs> single Sam Raimi movie? Like, how does this strike he you? Is? Don't even know who the guy is. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is this is the equivalent of if Johnny Depp were filming, or not Johnny Depp, but if uh, um, Tim Burton. Wow. My brain just read. Tim Burton was directing. It'd be Johnny Depp as like Fin Fang Foom or something oh, ridiculous. No. Like, <laughs> like it's 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 so ingrained in our culture uh, that those two are connected. Um, I mean, the, for me, the question, the article kind of poses it: uh, Is he a cameo, or it, does he get to play our main villain? Uh, which would be amazing, and and that's that's a bigger question for me, uh, which is, you know. Because he would be a really great Mephisto if that's Ooh. if that's the route they end oh, up going. Oh man, I never thought about that. Uh, Bruce Campbell's Mephisto, and, and the article the article says it sort of as a as a throwaway joke at the end. But I, he'd be wonderful. But that being said, is he is he well known? The question is, is he well known enough in the Marvel production universe uh, to play a leading villain like that, or would they try to get somebody? with a bigger name, which is hard. It's hard because, you know, we grew up on someone like, like Campbell, whereas the rest of the world, at least the younger generation doesn't necessarily see him as a big, yeah, I, I don't want to call him an A-list performer. He's a, he's a B movie. Oh, yeah. That's what he's known for. I mean, anything. So I have no complaints. I mean, he could honestly be done. Doctor Strange, and I probably would just watch the movie just for that if he shows up as a multiverse strange. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, I mean, that brings up a, a multiverse strange. Uh, you know, he, it does bear mentioning that Sam Raimi directed the first three Spider Man movies, and Bruce Campbell had very small little cameos in all three of those films. <laughs> Uh, most notably was in Spider-Man 2, where he plays the usher uh, when, you know, Peter Parker's trying to get in to see Mary Jane's performance. And he's like, ah, 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 uh, can't, uh, can't get in with that, you know, you, uh, whatever. Anyway, um, he's, he's kind of a doorstop everywhere, actually, because, yeah, in the first one, he's also the, isn't he the doorstop for uh, trying to get into the wrestling match. Oh, that's oh, he was the announcer. He was or, the announcer. He's yeah. the announcer. He's the announcer. Yeah. Right. Buzz. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Buzz, I forgot about Buzz that. Buzz, ready? <laughs> uh, yeah, that was really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I, there have been some rumors that if Mephisto is going to pop up, who would play him? I never stop to think about Bruce Campbell. I mean, that would be kind of cool. I don't think Marvel would go in that way because, like, to your point, he is a B-list actor. 
Um, yeah. And that's what he's known for. That's what he thrives at. Um, it's like the like the David David Hasselhoff who is like embraced that like no 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 I'm a B list actor <laughs> I'm I'm you know I, I somebody the other day mentioned. Um, Al Pacino as Mephisto. I mean, like in Devil's Advocate, he's already played the devil before. He has. I want. I want. I want to go back to what you just said, because David Hasselhoff <laughs> should be in this movie. And here's my argument. Here's my argument why. He he needs to be, because it's the multiverse, yeah. and and Hasselhoff has played Nick Fury. He has. Oh man. He should show up. Oh man! He should reprise his version of Nick Fury. Maybe I mean even as oh, simple man. as you've got you've got and you've got Hasselhoff walks in a door, looks at him, and goes, "Nope." And, like there doesn't even have to be dialogue, even. Oh, uh, but that but but based on this, <laughs> that would be brilliant. I would love that. This, oh my god, this has to happen. Uh, well, if that has yeah, to happen, this... then like later on in the show, we're going to talk about fantastic forecasting. But if that happens, you need the original uh, 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 Robert Ro Richard Corman, Robert Corman, Robert Corman, Robert Corman uh, yeah. um, sorry, yeah. a brain fart, uh, the Robert Corman, Fantastic Four film. Like those actors need to come back and do tiny little cameos. I mean, we're already getting that. I, there is a concern here, and I know we'll talk Spider Man as well. I think uh, potentially. Uh, where, where we're just like we're at a point where it feels a little awkward that we are pulling back. You know, Batman's pulling back the Batman's. It, it's it's a little weird because we're remaking all this stuff that was so iconic, and we're going to talk about another really good one here in a minute too. I know, but uh, that we're <laughs> we're remaking these new actors, which is a great and b yeah. terrible in some ways in my mind. Um, and my worry is instead of just making it new. Uh, we are going like, hey, you know who else is watching this? These these are the people who now have kids who are taking their kids to see it, but they don't actually care about the kids. They're going for themselves. They're bringing yeah. their kids along as an yeah. excuse to see movies. So let's put in all their favorite actors back into the into the fold, uh, which you know it's great to see them. But I think about like Ghostbusters, where we saw cameos from everybody, and instead of just getting to see them in their state as the cool characters, we kind of saw them thrown in haphazardly so it's a little bit of a catch i still i'm still on the board you for, know th for hassle this Hobbit's even has a little precedent uh there is precedent in the mcu for exactly what we're talking about uh and i'll give right. you a five second count to see if you uh know what i'm about to say i will go five four three two one any ideas are you gonna go any are you gonna do any of the like alternate earth uh, scenarios. Uh, so, well, so specifically, what I'm talking about is an Ant Man, uh, where, where we're talking about like cameos from like the old thing. Uh, uh, yes. uh, 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 Brad Garrett, Rich, uh, ah, Garrett Morris. There it is. Garrett Morris yes. was the first ever on screen live action depiction of Ant Man ever. So, like, Ant Man was in the comics. But Garrett Morris, who was right. in the first original cast of Saturday Night Live, SNL did a sketch back in the 70s. I, I think it was like Superman's birthday or something like that. Yeah, it, it was real simple. But yeah. yeah. And of, of all the characters yeah. that show and so up. So Brad Garrett is er, – Brad Garrett. Garrett Morris <laughs> as Ant-Man shows up like to Superman's birthday. Okay, cool. So when the Ant-Man movie got made, they put Garrett Morris in – in the movie as like a, a little cameo kind of spot he's like a tax he's like a taxi something driver like that, something yeah like that. Uh -huh. i loved it i yeah. thought it was genius it was brilliant it was it yeah. was perfect but but that's but that also is one of those like hey we are deserving of this yeah um and, and you know yes the fans are like nah, i get it um but it's 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 different than if they put him with a like here have my suit type mentality right as opposed to we see him show up and we, the people in the know, know who it right. is and the people who don't. You know, it, it's Superman forever has always thrown in previous actors who played in other Supermans into their films. So it, it's always, I mean, the problem is we're, we're getting to that age gap where it's getting real big. So the it's people true. are getting a bit older. It's true. It's true. To make it big question. But if you go CG. Say what? If you go CG, if you go CGI, I mean, Bruce, Bruce could play anybody. He could. I mean, that's, I mean. Yeah. 
who do, maybe, maybe the cape gets a voice and it's Bruce. Who doesn't love a little Bubba Hotep in their lives? That's all I'm saying. I was <laughs> maybe he just shows up as Elvis. <laughs> oh. Wrong dimension. Big question for you guys is what do you think of Bruce Campbell's tweet on social media uh, teasing his appearance or his cameo or whatever kind of a role he's going to play in Doctor Strange 2? Uh, do you think he's going to have a larger role? Do you think it's going to be more traditional cameo? Uh, what are your thoughts? Jump on down to the comment section below and let us know. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, Click share, because that is exactly what the mighty Thor would want you to do. For Asgard!